Yo, Marud! So, marami sa inyo nagre-request na gawang ko ng reaction video itong bahay ng pamilya Malakas Braso, a.k.a. The Armstrong Family. So, here we go. Tignan na natin ang kanilang bungalow. Okay, corner window. I like it. Ooh, maganda yung kanilang kitchen. Oh, I love, I love the floor. Polished concrete. Always very, very nice. Okay, so inuna nila yung kanilang fence. Oh, pa, 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 pa. Nakita niyo yung ginagawa niya doon? Ayan, as we could see here, dinidiligan niya yung fence. Why is he doing this? So, it is common knowledge na ang mga fence ay parang halaman. Pag diniligan mo, tatangkad pa. So, kung wala kang budget, tanim ka lang ng maliit na fence and then diligan mo after 10 years, 3 meters tall na ito. False info. <laughs> Jokes aside, my rules, ang hula ko kung bakit niya dinidiligan itong kanilang fence. Probably bagong palitada pa lang ito. Maybe kahapon pinalitadaan nila ito. So, ang rule of thumb pag meron kayong bagong palitadang bagay is to keep it moist dahil pag biglang nag-dry out ito, magkakaroon siya ng malalaking crack. So, aside from hairline cracks, magkakaroon na tayo ng mga cracks na mahirap takpan gamit ng masilya. So, this is a very, very a big brain move. Because by doing so, ma-minimize yung cracks nitong kanilang fence and maliliit na lang na cracks yung lalabas na madaling mapapatungan ng masilya. We had around 10 to 15 workers throughout the construction of the house. Wow! So, medyo marami yung kanilang construction workers. Also, I really like the roof, my dude. So, pagdating sa roofs, the simpler, the better. So, usually kasi dun sa dugtungan, nagkakaroon ng leaks. So, dito, dahil isa lang yung kanilang dugtungan, very, very slim na yung chance na magilik itong kanilang roof. Oh, very, very nice. We try to keep it all kind of zero landscaping, as simple as possible with the rocks. We've got Bermuda grass for our grass nice. over here. Oh, pe, 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 po. Okay, so kung zoom in natin dyan, my dudes, papansin nyo, is there is a snake-like thingy on the ground. So yung common na tawag dito, my dudes, ay garden edging. And yung purpose nyan ay pag meron tayong mga bato na walkway tulad nito is to keep the stones from going into the grass area and the grass going into the stones area. So pinagbabawal na pag-ibig na hindi dapat ipagtagpo, pinipigilan itong garden edging. Kasi, mayroon ibalik yung stones pag lumagpas na sila sa grass. Hassle. <laughs> so, yun yung purpose niya, basically. Pinagtagpo, pero di tinadhana, pinaghiwalay ng garden edging. Oh, uh, cringe. <laughs> the front porch itself, we did a stamped and colored concrete. I like what they did dito sa kanilang porch. So, imbis na normal lang na polished concrete, they did a stamped and colored concrete. So, pag sinabi nating stamped concrete, meron tayong mga rubber na stamps na malalaki na nandun yung texture na ilalagay nyo sa concrete. So, ang mangyayari is, after nyo buusan yung concrete, hintayin nyo matuyo ng onti yun and then saka natin papatungan ng mga stamps and then saka mag-apply ng weight dun sa tuktok ng mga rubber stamps para yung texture nun ay matransfer dun sa concrete sa ilalim. And bam! There you go. Yung sahig mo is mukhang may madidiscover ka na na fossil dito. So, very, very nice application. Let us continue. Hey, come on in, neighbor. <laughs> oh, don't mind if I am. Here is the final reveal of the finished inside of the house. So, I like their sunken living room. So, hindi ko to napansin kanina no intro. But now, oh, very nice. Pwede niyong punoy niya ng bola tas maglaro dyan yung mga bata, you know. Many possibilities. Now, first of all, you guys, we wanted to keep our house unique simple but yet elegant okay so they wanted it to be unique may i make a suggestion maglagay tayo ng parang portrait nung kumakanta sa four of spades dito sa, sa blank na wall bam unique siya ba yung lead singer ng four of spades a few moments later oh tama siya gumawa na yung joke natin <laughs> very nice all right tuloy so let's come on in and we'll go through the living room. So the first thing you'll notice in the sunken living room, no, Donna's not high, taller than me anymore. It's a sunken living room. It's something you won't see too often. 
Okay, so I really like their sunken living room, my dudes. Napakaganda ng effect nito. So, usually, yung change in elevation, halimbawa may time binabang part tulad nito, nagdadagdag siya ng isa pang dimension dun sa area. Parang nasiseparate yung living room from this kitchen area. So, kung balak nilang maglagay ng isa pang living room sa tabi nito, yung itatawag na nila dun ay dalawang Ken living room. Kasi ito yung isang Ken. <coughs> Oh, oh. If you feel ko yung masasakit yung comment na nagsasabi na kornya ako, kahit totoo masakit. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. tama na my dude. So para pagalingin ako, paklik yung like button. Wow! It worked! Thanks! Na-scam kayo. <laughs> Wag mo nyo i-unlike. No, kayo naman eh. Hindi na mabiro. Tuloy natin. This is just a framed in TV wall after the fact when Dreamland did leave the location. Nice. I wanted something to feature our 70 inch TV and just give it a unique design. So this is just metal furring and hardy flex and I just built it out just enough to where the TV sat out just a little bit from. Okay, so very very nice yung kanyang idea para dito. Metal furring. Usually yung mga metal furrings is ginagamit as framing para sa ceiling. Pero kung Balak niyo nang maglagay ng parang built-up wall na tulad nito kung saan hindi niyo siya balak sandalan, pwede niyo rin gamitin ito for those purposes. So I really like what they did here. Siya yung actually naging parang accent piece itong kanilang buong sunken living room. Although still, portrait of four of spades would have been nice dito sa side. Nulit pa yung joke. Naskam kayo. The main reason behind the concrete floor is it's low maintenance. And if we break a tile, we don't have to worry about replacing it. So, tile, you're never guaranteed to have the same color of tile. Even if it's white, white may not be white unless you have a huge stock of tile left over from construction. So all the floors in the entire house are polished concrete. Nice, so I really like what they did here, polished concrete. Uh, one is mas matipid ito compared sa tiles and two, tulad nga ng sabi niya is tiles. Pag meron kang isang nasira doon, Hindi ka na sure kung meron ka pa bang mabibili sa mga hardware stores or sa mga Home Depots nung similar color na tile. In these cases, kadalasan ang nire-recommend ko ay pagbalak nyo magpalagay ng tiles is to always have 5 to 10% na sobra. So let's say bibili kayo ng 100 tiles, bumili kayo ng extra na 5 to 10 pieces just in case na meron kayong tiles na nabasag or meron kayong tiles na umangat. So there you go, rule of thumb ko lang yun. But you don't have to follow it if you want to live on the edge. Walang ko nung hand gesture to triangle kasi may tatlong edge. Live on the edge. But no, th this concrete table is a very large concrete table. If I remember correctly, it was 4 feet by 9 feet. If, if... 4 feet by 9 feet. Okay, so titignan natin itong kanilang concrete table. I would say cantilever to kasi wala tayong nakikitang supports dun sa edges ng ating concrete table. And the way they did this is nilagyan nila ito ng mga supporting na rebars sa loob. So for that, we are going to have to need an engineer. Or you know, pwede nyong hulaan lang, but I would always suggest to be on the safe side and hire an engineer to compute this. Kasi pag hindi nyo ito nilagyan ng bakal sa loob, my dudes, may high chance na magka-crack siya dun sa supports niya and mahulog sa lap mo or worse, sa paa mo. So wala na, may ililibing ka ng mga patay na huko if that so happens. <laughs> English, if that happens to be so. <laughs> Pinalala yung grammar. Pag nangyari yun, so. Oh, cringe. So when it comes to doing the dishes, Donna came up with this amazingly unique idea of having some dish racks put in here. Nice. And it's open on the bottom. Very nice. It's a great place to hide smart, the smart. dishes. Smart, smart. I like it. On the sink itself, as they're drying and drip drying, they're dripping straight into the sink. It is one of the best ideas Napakatalino. I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> and I I'm agree. giving her props for that. I mean, it's, it's such a great concept. I really enjoy having this up here. So it's, it really comes in handy for just keeping stuff out of the way and not on the sink itself. Speaking of the sink... Oh, wait lang. I really like their sink. So, titignan natin yung kanilang sink sharp yung kanyang edges. And it's very, very modern minimalist. So... I really appreciate that sink. Pa-comment down below kung nanonood ka, Mr. Armstrong, kung saan nyo nabili and magkano. Thanks, man. <laughs> Biglang nagka-weird na accent. Na-scam kayo. So the concept behind our CR or bathroom was a hotel 
spa feel concept. Oh, I like the tiles na ginamit nila dito. Yes, maganda yung kinalabasan. And also, I like that hindi nila pinuno ng tiles hanggang dito. Cause you know, sayang lang sa pera yun. Usually, yung pag pinuno mo to ng tiles for the sake of aesthetics na lang. Pero they used paint para mas tipid. And I like that. So, hindi naman na kasi mababasa dito sa parte na to. Pag nabasa pa dyan, ewan ko na lang. Mali ka maligo or maghugas ng... You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't wanna get demonetized, guys. Ain't gotta say it. Wet? <laughs> Sinabi pa rin eh. The same style and color of tiles on the wall as well as a floor because if you do that in a design, it makes it feel more expensive when it's really not. And it makes it feel bigger versus a different color here and a yes. color there. Yes. Amen. Spill the tea. <laughs> oh, ano bang sinasabi ng mga zoomers ngayon? No cap! Sheesh! That felt wrong. Naramdaman kong na cringe yung mga ancestors ko somewhere beyond the horizon. I'm sorry, ancestors, forgive me. Ashish! <laughs> Inulit pa. <laughs> Tuloy! Oh, cringe. <laughs> Donna's pride and joy is the Kim Kardashian sink. Oh. You guys see, there's no sink bowl. There's nothing sitting on top. What we have instead is just that slit in the countertop, and this was all I did was just made a styrofoam knockout and provided a slit. Amazing! Ano klasing kababalagan ito so sa mga nagulumihanan tulad ko that was just pretend. Bam! Na loko ko kayo. Kayo lang yung nagulumihanan. Me, I'm so aware of what this is. So ang ginawa nila dito is meron lang slight na curve na hindi kita with the naked eye. Kadalasan, pag ginagawa ito ay dapat super smooth itong concrete natin para yung tubig is papasok agad dun sa ating drain and kadalasan, after sealing the concrete and putting some polish on top of it, lalagyan pa ito ng hydrophobic na nano coating para yung tubig is talagang mag-roll off agad-agad. Hindi siya magkakaroon ng pagkakataon para makatakas papunta sa paa mo over this countertop. So, I really like what they did here. Ito yung tawag dito ni Sir Armstrong is Kim Kardashian sink but this is commonly known as a basinless sink kasi wala tayong parang basin na sasalo ng tubig. Or in Tagalog, I would like to call this ang mahiwagang sink na sobrang daling linisin. Patent pending. Alright. Let's tuloy. My pride and joy, the, the porcelain throne with... The a slow, this is apparently a common thing here in the Philippines. <clears throat> United States, the toilet lid just slams down. So if you're a man, sometimes you get hit by the toilet seat coming down. <laughs> but here in the Philippines, it's controlled. Okay, so very, very common talaga sa Pilipinas itong soft closing toilet seat covers. Dahil once upon a time, there was some guy na laging pinapagalitan ng nanay niya kasi akala nagdadabog. Pag binababa niya yung toilet seat, yun pala nang didiri lang siya hawakan kasi very icky. So, binibitawan mo na lang. Tapos, ganon. Maingay yung toilet seat. Ikaw, Teborso, lagi kang nagdadabog. Porke, maliit yung... Hindi <laughs> mo mahawakan yung pag umiihi ka. <laughs> De, ibang story na to. So, nagalit yung nanay niyan. He was like, aha, idea. Soft closing toilet seats. Why not? So, bam. It was invented. Hindi. Invento lang lahat yun. Pero yung tawag talaga dito is soft closing toilet seat. So, very, very common talaga ito sa Pilipinas. Pwede? A double flush. I've yet to understand what the two buttons are for. Of course, we've got the bidet. Okay, so, uh, Sir Armstrong, yung purpose nung dalawa nating buttons is usually meron tayong mas malaki na parang crescent moon size. And then meron tayong maliit. So, the small button is for yellow. And the big button is for brown, if you get my flow. For those who didn't get my flow, pang wiwi yung malit na button and pang pupudupu yung malaking button. So, there you go. 